just hope that this doesn't fall and let's just hope that the card doesn't get full all right what's up guys so I went to Taco Bell thinking that I was able to get the new cheddar chalupas, but they said that they don't sell them anymore. So I was like, well, I'm already in line and I'm hungry, so I just got the regular chalupas, which is like my favorite. And I'm just going to vent because, um, yeah, I have nothing to do. Richie and our son is at, are at West Palm Beach. You know, I work tomorrow, and then Richie has an appointment in West Palm Beach, and there's nobody to take care of the baby, so... Usually my mom takes care of the baby, but she's sick. She has, like, these allergy issues, so she can't watch him. So I'm like, you know what, just take him to West Palm Beach, to his grandparents over there. Um, so that's that. So I'm lonely. I'm very lonely. Um, I don't like the silence here, because usually, you know, here it's chaos. It's either my boyfriend being chaotic or my son being chaotic. And mixed together is double crazy. So, you know, I'm so used to that that, you know, it's just so quiet and I can't deal with myself. So, I'm gonna vent. So, I went to De La Mall to return a costume that my sister-in-law bought the baby. It didn't fit. So I tried to return it, they said that I couldn't return it or exchange it because they didn't have his size. So I have to go to International Mall, which is far. So I have to do that in the weekend. I'll probably do it in the weekend. So I couldn't do that. Then I went to my parents' house because it's close to them. The mall is close to where they live. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go see my dog. Because uh, currently my dog lives with them because my landlord doesn't let me have my dog here. You know, whatever. And that's been very hard because I thought that I was going to already move, um, but that's not the case. Uh, we're going through an issue where um, Richie sprained his ankle walking into the house, so he's been out of work and I don't make enough. And, you know, it's just, I don't get it, I don't like, like yeah, like I already got into details, but you know, we're going through tough times. Anyway, so back to I go to my parents' house today, like to hang out, whatever. They start arguing about my parents start arguing about the stupidest shit ever, like always. And that right there automatically gives me anxiety. They've always been people like parents they've always been two people that just argue about the stupidest shit and like really go at it and I was thinking about like why do I have so much social anxiety ever since I was little? I think it's because of them. Them, like I just had to I just get my dog and go out for a walk because it gets all awkward and weird and then when they get into arguments they get me involved and I hate that shit and they've always done that. They get me involved in their dumb shit and so I just ignore it because I'm not going to get involved with their shit. I'm not in either side and not only that but the conversation is the stupidest shit ever. They were arguing about the difference between a CD and a DVD. It's just pathetic. And I can't believe how passionate they are about arguing over that shit. So, I wish I was lying, but that's the truth. Um, so, I took the dog out, I took Abby out, and came back in. And I was like petting her, and I realized that she has not only one lump. Like, I, I knew about the one lump, but then I started like petting her more to see... Um, if there were more, there's three lumps. Not huge, there's one that's like this big, there's another one that's like this big, and then a little one. So I'm like, I asked my dad, I'm like, have they been growing more? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And it's just so frustrating because it's like, it just makes me feel like they don't care enough for her. So now I feel like I have to save money than what I already need to save. Um, I need to save money to take those lumps out because she she already went through this one time and I took it out and it wasn't cheap it was just one lump and then you know another issue is that golden retrievers um, do suffer from cancer so that's another issue like I don't want to just like ne neglect her you know in that way so now I need to save money to try to get those lumps out and 
it's probably more than like three hundred dollars so I did a GoFundMe and if you can it could be a dollar five dollars it doesn't matter I did a GoFundMe I put the link in the bottom the description so if you want to and help out you know um, please donate um, I honestly don't make enough money you know at work so I'm currently trying to find a better job right now it's part time but with shit that with, with the shit that's going on now financially like I have to get a full time job so I'm currently trying to do that and apply to the jobs yeah I'm trying to do that um but you know and then it, the thing with my dog it makes me more upset you know that I can't help her and I and I can't you know afford for it it makes me more upset you know but then I think about like at the end of the day I'm healthy Richie's healthy the baby's healthy we're all fine you know it's just you know it, it just it's just crazy if I would have known that you know we we're going through so much shit financially I would have saved so much money when I had a really really good job and I was making enough for like two people but you know is you know what can you do um, sometimes I wish that I didn't even pay for tuition to go to film school because I'm not doing anything with it you know and if you're asking why I'm not doing anything with it is because Miami sucks with the whole film industry and um, people are selfish here and then not only that but it's a, it's long hours and I can't be standing on my feet for more than like six seven hours so I don't want to be known as like some lazy ass that doesn't like to work but it's because but you know I always had that situation with all jobs where people just assume that I just don't want to do, do certain things at work but it's not even like that it's just my back kills me at a certain time if I stand for too long and I have chronic pain so you know I've had situations with other coworkers where like why don't you just do this I'm like like I don't want to explain myself you know well I have chronic pain you know and I don't want to have I don't want to hear the people's opinions about it like well don't work I can't do that. And I don't want to do that, but... I don't know, man. It was so good. But yeah, I was thinking of making a video about the new Cheddar Chalupa to see if I liked it or not, but I'm sorry, I couldn't do that for you. For you Taco Bell lovers. So, you know, when I go through these like emotional moments of like frustration, this is what I do. I eat. I eat and make videos because that's all I know. And let me see if it's still recording. It is. So. I'd rather be eating than um than drink and smoke weed and all the shit that I used to do. You know, it's not good. You know, when I'm getting older. I want to live a long time for my son. You know, and it's crazy. You don't realize how your life changes, like mentally. I guess I don't know. I can only talk, you know, for myself from experience that. I've changed so much ever since I've had my child, my son. My son, you know, makes things so much better. Like, he's made me grow up so much mentally. Like, I'm not into that stupid shit no more. Like, I don't, I'm not into that stupid mentality anymore. Like, I'm just... I take my life ten times more seriously now, now that I have my son. Because, you know, my son is a year old and... He just watches me. He observes everything that I do from like my mannerisms, my body language, 
when I smile, when I don't smile. He's just, he's, he's, he reminds me of me because I'm like, I observe everyone like by their body language and, you know, and their face expressions and their eyes, you know, like, like he knows and um, it's just scary. It's good and it's scary at the same time because my son is really smart. I don't want him to learn like all my bad habits, you know, it's just, you know, you got to be careful, you know. And then, but kids really, really help you out in life, like, kids are fun. I thought I, I'd never be a parent, but, or that I would never like kids, but, you know, kids are fun, and they teach you so much about yourself, so... Anyway, so that's that with the whole dog issue. I'm just so upset that I can't be there for her. And I'm upset that I always have to leave her at my parents. Makes me sad. <clears throat> Makes me sad. And I like my job too. I like my job. It's just... They don't give me enough hours. And, I, and it's been like three months. I don't think they'll give me more hours. And they did ask me if I wanted to work overnight, but no, man, I can't. I can't be working overnight. So, um, after that clip, my, uh, camera cut off. So, this was, this is why I hate recording with my other camera, because it just shuts off, and I need a new camera. But anyway, so, the audio is probably different now, because I'm recording on my computer. Um, I also wanted to talk about how, like, it's really hard... Um, cause I, I tend to bottle a lot of things up, um, but, you know, it just sucks cause, uh, I sometimes feel like I can't vent to anybody, um, like when it comes to my family, I can't really vent to my brother cause we don't speak over, you know, misunderstandings, um, and just arguments we've gotten into about, like, we don't accept what we do. Um, or situations that we've handled, you know, we just disagree, and, um, and it makes me upset, you know, because I wish I had, like, a sibling in my life, and I don't have that, so it kind of just feels like sometimes I'm just, like, living life, um, on my own, you know, uh, you know, family, I'm just very, I bottle shit, a lot of shit up when it comes to family, so, um, that's why I've always tended to, you know, go out there and make friends because I felt like friends were more family members in my own family. So that's just how I feel. Um, but anywho, so that's, that's, that's really what I need, wanted to talk about. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, again, the link to the GoFundMe for my dog is on the description below. Check it out. And yeah, guys, on to the next video. Thank you for watching, and peace.